What's up everybody? This is one of the best and easiest garage sale pickups that I've had. Easiest uh, meaning I only had to go about two and a half blocks away from where I live and it was a friend of mine who was doing the sale. Uh, this past Saturday, if you saw my garage sale video, I, uh, the last sale I went to, um, a friend of mine was having. She uh, is really into Halloween. We've talked about props and stuff with each other over the years and you know she decorates every year. And I saw she had Legend of Dragoon and Mega Man Anniversary Collection on Xbox for sale and she only wanted a buck each for them. So I grabbed those and we started talking about video games and she said that she had you know a decent amount of game stuff sort of packed away like uh, N64 stuff and some GameCube stuff. So I was like, hey, uh, if you're interested in digging it out, I'd you know love to come over and check it out. And uh, she said, give, uh, give me a few days, I'll get in touch with you. So I went over today, and she wasn't doing a garage sale, so it was basically just me going over to buy these games. And um, she gave me an absolutely fantastic deal, and I got some really interesting stuff, some stuff from my collection, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Um, there's quite a bit, so I will start with, I guess, all the N64 stuff, probably. Uh, first off, she, uh, she told me she had this in advance. A uh, green N64 with the expansion pack inside and the uh, hookup cables, one green controller, and then there is a orange controller and a blue controller. Um, all the uh, sticks on them are sort of loose. I, I guess actually the green one is probably the, uh, the tightest, so that's good. Um, that's all the hookup cables. And then we have stacks of N64 games. And when I say stacks, there's a decent amount. Now, the best thing about uh, this pickup of N64 stuff is almost all the games had their manuals. And then some of them even had the strategy guides. So that was really cool. Um, we're going to start with uh, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, <clears throat> Mario Tennis, First Mario Party. Mario Golf, we got Super Smash Brothers, Mario Party 2, and we got not one copy of Banjo Kazooie, but two copies, and Castlevania, uh, Clay Fighter 63 and a third, we got Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. And then another stack, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, and all the games uh, for the most part are in good shape. I mean, all the labels, you know, none of them are like ripped off on the front. Some of them have like some label damage on the back. Um, uh, Pokemon Snap, and another Pokemon Snap, Deadly Arts, like this one has some damage to the back. Uh, Star Fox 64, Chameleon Twist 2. Mischief Makers, and now all those are games that I'm going to sell or trade. Um, and then here are manuals that go along with those stacks. Um, and there's actually some extra manuals in here that she did not have the games for. Uh, we got Castlevania, Star Fox 64, Yoshi Story, didn't have the game, Pokemon Stadium 2, there you go, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Golf, Mario Party, Mario Party 2, Super Mario 64, Mario Tennis, Mario Kart 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Super Smash Brothers, Snowboard Kids, no game for that, Mario Party 3, no game for that unfortunately, uh, Mario Kart 64, another one of those, and another Super Mario 64, and then uh, this was the manual that's in the worst condition. Clay Fighter 63 and a third has like some staining on the front and back. Like looks like someone spilled a coffee on it or something. Um, now, the some of the strategy guides that go along with that stuff. Let's see. Sorry, my this uh, my game room right now is absolutely covered in gaming shit. It's everywhere. Um, I'm trying to show you everything in order also, because there's some strategy guides that go with non-64 games. We got uh, Pokemon Stadium Guide, Pokemon Snap, Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo-Kazooie, Super Mario Smash Bros. That's a cool one. This one is actually in really, really nice shape, too. 
And those ones are for some other games, so I'll hold off on those. Um, now let's see. Uh, to sort of describe last week's N64 pickup, um, I mean, that was a good one, too. I did get a decent amount of games, but none of them had the manuals and no strategy guides. And there's there's more games. That was just the stuff that uh, I am not planning on keeping for myself. Now, this stuff uh, is stuff that I am keeping, and some of it is just super common stuff, but uh, I just did not have yet. Um, we got Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. Uh, we got uh, Mystical Ninja, starring Gomon. Gomon's Great Adventure, Perfect Dark, Rayman 2, Great Escape, uh, the first Chameleon Twist, Bomberman 64, Jet Force Gemini, and Bomberman Hero, and then the manuals to go along with them, which some of them are awesome that they have the manuals with. Uh, Bomberman Hero, Chameleon Twist. I'm keeping the uh, Chameleon Twist 2 manual because I have the game. And I'm keeping the Mischief Makers manual because I have the game. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, keeping that one as well because I have the game. <laughs> uh, Aiden Chronicles, <clears throat> Mystical Ninja, Gomon's Great Adventure, Jeff Force Gemini, and Perfect Dark. The uh, Gomon's games are, are really cool that they have the manuals. Both of those um, are not cheap in the sense of uh, N64 titles. I mean, easily ranging in like the 30 or more range a piece. And then we have some strategy guides. Now, some of these are also for some games that uh, she did not actually want to get rid of yet, which I'll explain that in a second, but we got Jet Force Gemini, <clears throat> um, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2, she did, they did not have the game for this, but I do. We got, uh, Majora's Mask, she had the game for, obviously, for Majora's Mask, and she also had a copy of Ocarina of Time, but she did not want to part with them. Um, I even offered uh, like more than I would usually want to pay for them, um, just because I have not picked up uh, a copy of those for a little while, and she did not want to part. She also did not want to part with uh, Banjo uh, Banjo Tui. Um, she had got that like not too long ago, um, I believe, and she bought it offline, so she actually wanted to keep that and play it. And then uh, there's also a Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures guide. I might actually already have that one. Uh, then we got Donkey Kong 64. And she wanted to keep Donkey Kong 64 as well, so I didn't get that game. Uh, Super Mario 64. And then the pocket guide for Wind Waker, which also has a, a little like, mini guide inside for Ocarina of Time as well. I have like a full-size guide of this, but uh, I think the pocket guide is kind of cool because it has the uh, extra stuff in it. Uh, at least I don't believe the full-size guide had the Ocarina of Time walkthrough. <clears throat> okay, so, now to continue on, let's see. Um, some GameCube stuff. She had, she did not have her GameCube systems anymore, but she did still have the two boxes for the Platinum and for the Purple. Um, these, I'll probably just see if Aaron wants, because he likes, uh, you know, having box systems to sell. I don't collect, you know, the boxes for uh, systems myself, and actually, I have a black GameCube, so it wouldn't even go with either of these. I have, like, my original, original Nintendo box, and I think I have some of my handheld boxes, but, uh, like, I have my Neo Geo Pocket box, but I, in general, I don't collect boxes for systems. So those will probably go to Aaron, um, if he wants them. Next, oh, the GameCube stuff, basically there was a copy of Wind Waker Complete and Twilight Princess Complete. Um, I am going to keep the Twilight Princess for myself, and I know a few people are going to be bummed that wanted this, um, but I have the, the Wii version, but um, from, from I never played the GameCube one, and from a lot of people said they actually enjoyed the GameCube one even more. Um, the I think the camera angle, basically, of what... A hand he holds stuff in is different. Um, it's his correct hand he's holding shit in in the GameCube version. Um, so anyways, uh, also 
I'll do this stuff next, I guess. There was some Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff. We got Pokemon Crystal with the manual and Pokemon Gold with the manual. She kept most of the stuff like in baggies. Like a lot of this stuff originally was in bags. Um, and just a box and manual for uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Four Swords Adventure. In really good shape. No game though. A uh, game only copy of uh, Link's Awakening DX. <clears throat> we got Pokemon Red. This was just the box, but I had a copy of Pokemon Red that I went ahead and threw in there. We have um, Oracle of Ages, Zelda, Game Boy Color. We got a Pokemon Yellow. And a just a guide for Silver, but I have a couple copies of Silver right now. And then a complete inbox copy of Sapphire, which is really cool. And the box for this is in pretty damn decent shape. <clears throat> and then, to go along with that stuff, we have, I think this is for, yeah, this is for Crystal. A really rough uh, strategy guide for Crystal. It is missing the front cover, um, and actually, it's, I think it's missing the back cover, too. So it's, <laughs> it's pretty rough. Um, but then we have a silver and gold in pretty decent shape. And then a copy of Ruby and Sapphire Guide, uh, and this, the cover is detached from it. It's, it's still there, obviously, but it's not, uh, it's not still stuck to the pages. And I think that's it for the guide, the handheld stuff. Um, the, this is kind of interesting. Um, I could not really find a good... Sorry, I'm off camera right now. Uh, I could not really find a good, like listing or anything for this on eBay. I saw some of the toys, I saw some, you know, this posted a while ago, but I couldn't find any really any current listing for it. It's the Ready to Rumble uh, Round 2, like, boxing ring, and it comes complete. The only issue um, is the battery compartment um, was basically totally fucked up. The batteries that were left in it, unfortunately, had corroded really bad. Um, but you can use a 6-volt uh, power adapter for it, um, and that should probably, you know, work fine. Everything else looks fine with it. Um, it's just the battery compartment was all screwed up. And she said she remembered it working um, the last time they used it. And then it came with its gloves, both sets, and the little, uh, like, instruction manual for it. And it's basically a virtual boxing game. There's sensors in these gloves, and when you throw the punches, uh, the base, you know, the, the ring reads your punch movements and actually then makes the fighters punch um, and fight each other. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I'm hoping it... I, I might actually try to grab... I don't think I have any 6-volt power adapters, like, laying around here. I'd have to check. Um, but I'd I love to see it, you know, it, uh, actually work and play with it a little bit, so I'll have to screw around with that a little bit. Um, it has a few little scuffs and stuff on the base, but overall it's it's not in terrible condition. Um, oh, and then there was a copy of uh, just the first, like, Ready to Rumble boxing, complete with the manual. And then, the two highlights, I'll show this one first. Sorry, you're going to stare at my crotch for a second. This goes along with my little uh, Link bobblehead now. I grabbed a Mario bobblehead for the GameCube, and this is in really, really nice shape. And uh, these are awesome. Like, uh, I saw it sitting on her shelf, and I was like, hey, would you be interested in letting go of that uh, Mario right there? And she goes, yeah, sure. Um, so this is really cool. I'm, I'm happy to have him standing next to uh, Link up there now. And the final thing, which was sort of a surprise, and um, when, I, when I first saw it, it didn't click in my head what it was because I was looking at all the other, you know, all the Mario um, N64 games and the box Pokemon stuff, and uh, I was just like, okay, well, uh, I'll grab this, I'll get this, I'll get this, and then I realized what exactly this was um, because I saw a little Blockbuster exclusive logo at the bottom. It is Transformers Beast Wars Trans Metals uh, in the box. It does not have the manual, which um, is a bummer, but the box overall is in pretty fair shape. It does have a rip on the back side right there, 
but the box um, overall is is not that bad and the game inside is in decent condition as well it actually does not have like any labels on it or anything so it's in really good shape and um, this game just like the, uh, the cart isn't that expensive um, I saw you know copies of the carts in like the $30 range but some less you know some a little bit more but the box for it um, really drives the price up and uh, I was surprised to see like want copies of this going between like a hundred and two hundred dollars um, so that was quite the find and that was a really good surprise um, if you had the manual I actually saw a few that were selling for like even higher than that like I think one actually sold for like 300 bucks with the manual and like the other pack in paperwork um, so that's awesome I do not plan on keeping this I'm not a uh, Beast Wars or Transformers like collector so this will be uh, up for sale um, now mentioning up for sale or trade Monday I will do another sale or trade video after the flea market I've been getting more and more messages throughout like the week of hey can I buy that one thing can I buy this I can't do individual sales throughout the week like that because uh, I would be shipping stuff out every single day and I just don't have the time to do that so I have to keep it to where I'm basically uh, doing like you know a sale video and that stuff is the only stuff I have for sale at that time and then whatever sells I can ship out accordingly you know like in two trips so um, I apologize for people that you know are asking hey I want that one item or I want this um, I, I just I'm not gonna sell you know throughout randomly you know random days throughout the week it'll only be on specific you know times when I do a sale video but Monday I will do one after the market I can guarantee you all this shit is not gonna sell at the market I would be really surprised if this sold at the flea market um, but uh, so yeah keep an eye out on Monday for a uh, sale and trade video the last thing I want to show real quick because this video is getting incredibly long um, is a purchase I did from a fellow youtuber named Sega Soldier basically the price he gave me on this stuff was like garage sale price he gave me an amazing deal and I really really thank him and I'll leave the uh, link to his channel down below again that's Sega Soldier I got um, Mega Man Battle, War yeah, Battle Network 3 white version complete in box really good shape um, Network 3 uh, blue version complete we got Mega Man powered up uh, Mega Man X Maverick Hunter and Alien Storm complete these were also complete with the manuals and uh, powered up even has like the little PSP sticker thing um, in there so that was awesome thank you very much for that uh, the garage sale stuff um, that, that like I said it was such a really good deal um, oh also a couple of blank in or empty N64 cases and some Game Boy cases so that was kinda cool I always grab those if I can find them um, and that's it but that that deal was a hundred and twenty bucks um, so she really gave me an awesome deal and I really appreciate that um, so that's it guys uh, please thumbs up the video and look forward to tomorrow's like official garage sale video I'll be going out to garage sales um, and I will talk to you later peace